In this video, everything you need to know when going on holiday to Gran Canaria in January. We're not only going to talk about the weather, but also what you can expect at that time of year, what's going to be open, where is the best place on the island for you to stay, if it's actually the best time for you to visit Gran Canaria, and if it's not, don't worry, then I also got a full guide in this video to when is the best time for you. Even though January is a winter month in Gran Canaria, the temperatures are still very nice. This is about 15 degrees average on the low end and 21 degrees average on the high end. But do know that these are averages, so there's going to be plenty of days. It's going to be much hotter than that as well. Even though this is technically a winter month, there's still plenty of hours of sunshine. It's really not much of a difference compared to summer. When it comes to rain in January, know that this is one of the more rainy months, but since this is Gran Canaria, it still means that there's not a lot of rain. It's only three rainy days per month, and most of this rain falls away from the touristy destinations, either on the mountain or in the north of the island, where there's not so many tourists. If you want to spend most of the time in the sea or in the ocean, then do know that this time of year the water temperature is 19 degrees. For most people this feels a little bit chilly, but they will still enjoy it. For some it might be a little bit too cold for them. If you are with that last group, then do know that plenty of hotels on the island also have at least one heated pool, if they offer more than one pools. So you might want to opt for a heated pool hotel instead. But as I said, for most people this is just a fine temperature to go swimming. If you are visiting Gran Canaria in January, know then that all the major parks on the island will be open normally. These include the zoos, the water parks and all the major attractions. As Gran Canaria, the attractions stay open pretty much all year round, what is a little bit different from some of the other Spanish islands. But don't worry, in January everything pretty much will be open in Gran Canaria. Since January is part of the high season for Gran Canaria, know that all the restaurants and bars at this time of year will be open on the island. If you're coming to Gran Canaria in January to do clubbing with a young and active party crowd, then this might actually be a good month, especially if you can come during the school or university holidays during this month, as there is a lot of young people coming here to club and party at this time. When it comes to pricing in Gran Canaria, I know that January is one of the more popular months. That also means that this is one of the more pricey months to go to Gran Canaria. Taking into account the pricing, the weather, but also what is open on the island at that time of year, the following are in my opinion the best places to stay. These are Bahia Feliz, Sant Agustin, Mas Palomas, Playa del Inglés, Meloneras, Arguinigin, Puerto Rico, Playa de Amadores, Playa del Cura, Torito and Puerto de Mogán. Hi, my name is Eve. I lived, traveled and worked all over the Spanish islands for the last 20 years. So definitely if you want to have the best holiday possible, have a look at these videos as well and subscribe and click the bell notification because once a week I come online here live and answer all your holiday related questions live here on YouTube. So make sure to subscribe, click the bell, then you are informed next time I am live.